Hello guys, welcome back to another part of Call Java tutorial. Today we are going to uh, learn about how to pass an object to a function in a Java program. Uh, in C or C++ uh, we already learned how to pass uh, how to uh, pass a data to a method or a function in C or C++ there are two options to pass the data uh, to a function which are uh, pass by value and pass by reference uh, in pass by value you just pass the uh, variable uh, as arguments and in pass by reference you using the point is in C or C++ but here in Java there is no pointer concepts available in Java so in order to achieve the pass by uh, reference in Java we need to pass the uh, data by using uh, objects that means here we need to pass the objects for achieving the pass by reference as uh, like in C or C++. So here I am going to explain it with a complete example. So here I am going to create a class for uh, demonstrating passing object to a function in a class. So here I just create a class called a test class. Uh, in that class I just create a string variable string msg so here I am going to create a constructor for this class public it is the constructor of that class of course there is a string argument this dot msg is equal to msg okay I just uh, got a value for the string variable called msg uh, now I am going to create another variable and another method in this class so uh, I make the return type of that method as boolean and the method name is check object I just create a method with the return type boolean and name of that method is check object. So I am going to pass a value to this object which is an object. So uh, here I am going to pass an object of this class to this method. So here the type is name of the class uh, test the class. I give it as obj I just create an if loop here if here I'm going to check values for two objects whether uh, that values are true or false so uh, here I'm going to uh, compare two values of an object compare what two values of uh, two objects to so here I'm going to access that variables using this object obj dot msg dot equals uh, we do not it's not possible to use double equal because it's a string value so we need to use the functions called dot equals to compare the string values if obj dot msg equals uh, msg then it will return true return true otherwise it will return false else it will return false here I just check the compare the values of two object here is the object that is passed here and compare it with another object and if it is found to be equal then it's return true otherwise it will return false okay now I am going to create the main class here public class 
Okay, name it as object passing. I name it as object passing. Of course, that's that class contain the main method. With main, you need to pass the command line arguments here. Okay, I just create a public class and that class contain the main method. Now I am going to create two object of this class called a test class. Test class test one is equal to new test class. I just pass a string here. I just pass apple. Again, I am going to create another class under object of the same class, test class. Test two is equal to new test class. I give it as orange. Again, I just create another object called uh, test class. Test three is equal to new test class again I give it as apple ok uh, now I am going to compare these objects using that method called uh, uh, check object by passing uh, one object as argument so here I just print it out system dot out dot Run to LN. First, I compare these two objects, test one and test two. Of course, it is not equal because the two values are not equal. Test one equals test two. Here, I am going to call the function using the first object. Sorry, first object test to one dot call this mother called a check object test to one dot check object I pass an argument here that argument is the second object test to two <coughs> okay so I just invoke the method using test to one that means the value corresponding to test1 is apple and I pass as argument as test2 so here we got test2 so in this if loop obj dot message that means test1 values corresponding to test1 which is apple equals uh, msg sorry obj dot message that means this object dot message is orange because I pass test2 as arguments is equals msg msg means uh, data corresponding to this object test1 which is apple uh, that means this is not true which will return false uh, so again I compare again I'm going to compare test1 and test3 so here I'm going to uh, pass test one dot test two is not test three. In this case, uh, the two values that means the values of obj dot msg and msg are same, which are apple. In that case, it will return it will return true. Uh, now this is the time to uh, check the pro check the program. So I'm going to save it. Save in D drive in programs. Uh, the public class what is the public class name here uh, test class no no uh, object passing okay so here I'm going to give the file name as object passing dot java save as all files save now 
I'm going to compile that program Java C object passing dot Java okay there is no errors present in that program now I'm going to run the program object passing now you can see that test 1 object of test 1 and test 2 are false that, that, uh, that's why this is because value corresponding to test 1 is apple and value corresponding to test 2 is orange and test 2 and test 3 test 1 sorry it is test 1 I save it again one more time I need to compile it okay one more time I need to run it okay test 1 equal to test 2 is false and test 1 and test 3 is true uh, guys this is how we are uh, passing an object as argument in a method in Java uh, you will get the complete source code of this topic from my blog my blog URL is given under the description of this video uh, please subscribe my channel for getting more video updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part of this tutorial.